On the 8th of June in the year 632, news began to spread through the city of Medina, sending shockwaves of grief through the early Muslim community. Prophet Muhammad, Saleh Allahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam, had passed away. For 23 years, the Prophet had led his community and received divine revelations to guide his followers. Since the faith of Islam pertained to the political, the religious, the ethical and the social, the Messenger of God engaged in all these aspects of community life. Questions of the nature of rightful Muslim leadership after the Prophet have remained central throughout history. Diverse Muslim interpretations have evolved over time, resulting in different beliefs and forms of leadership. Two major models of authority emerged after the Prophet. In the Sunni interpretation, the Prophet did not nominate a successor. The Caliph was understood as the head of the Muslim community, who administered the state and acted as the guardian of the faith. The religious scholars, or ulama, took over the roles of authority on religious and ethical issues among Sunni communities. Sunnis today are diverse, with four schools of law, or madhabs, the Hanafi, Hanbali, Maliki, and Shafi. The Shia interpretation is based on the principle of hereditary leadership. The term Shia derives from Shi'at Ali, the followers of Hazrat Ali, alayhi salam. For the Shia, the Prophet appointed Hazrat Ali to be his rightful successor as the first in a hereditary line of Imams. <laughs> 